Hey guys, today we're going through chapter 7 on trig identities and equations and uh, we're in section 3 in this video going over double angle, half angle, and reduction formulas. So in this video we're going through number 7 which says find the exact values for the sine of the double angle, the cosine of the double angle, and the tangent of the double angle if the cosine of x equals negative half and x is in the third quadrant. So I've written here our formulas for the double angles. So we're going to use these, but first we need to go ahead and set up our angle in the third quadrant. So we'll draw our coordinates and we'll draw out this x angle here. And it says the cosine of x is going to equal to negative half. And I'm going to go ahead and make this our triangle here. And we know that the cosine from SOHCAHTOA is equal to the adjacent of the angle over the hypotenuse. So we've got a negative one here going out uh, to the negative x-axis, and our hypotenuse is gonna be two. So if we wanna go ahead and complete the triangle, we're gonna find that two squared minus negative one squared square rooted equals our y. So our y we have is going to equal to the square root of 4 minus 1, so the square root of 3, and we know that since that's in the third quadrant, it's going to be negative. So we've got a negative square root of 3. Cool, so now we've got um, all of our uh, sides of the triangle, and we can go ahead and plug into our uh, formula here using our reference angle. So we have here the sine of the double angle is equal to two times the sine of our x. So the sine of our x is our opposite over hypotenuse. So we've got uh, negative root three over two times our cosine of this angle, which is negative a half. And so we find that the sine of the double angle is equal to, we've got our negative root three times a negative, so that becomes a positive and one of our twos cancel out, so we get root three over two is going to be the sine of that double angle. Now when we do the cosine of the double angle, we have a bunch of things that we can go ahead and choose from. I'm gonna to choose to use this formula right here since we're already given the cosine of the angle. So I'll go ahead and plug in two times the cosine of theta squared. So the cosine of the angle is negative half, and then we'll go ahead and square it and subtract one. When we solve that out, we get two times one fourth minus one, so we get a half minus one is equal to negative a half. Cool, so our cosine of the double angle is equal to negative a half. Then when we go ahead and do our tangent of the double angle, we know that this is going to be the sine of the double angle over the cosine of the double angle. So we just take our root three over two and we're gonna take that divided by negative a half or times the reciprocal. So we get the tangent is equal to the negative square root of three. So we've gone ahead and we found our sine of the double angle, the cosine of the double angle, and the tangent of the double angle. So there are your answers. I hope you found this video really helpful. Uh, the concepts we covered in this video are true no matter what pre-calculus class you take. And the examples I cover are from this textbook right here. And remember, if you're a Baylor student currently enrolled, there is free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can create a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or drop in anytime during our business hours. Please visit our website, www.baylor.edu tutoring, for more details. Sick and bears.